This video is sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. Stay tuned to the end for a special offer. Wow, welcome. What a what a fucking treat. What well, how special must you feel? You get a video on a Friday. Pay money will be here. And today we're doing something a little different. We're just gonna jump into it because there's a little bit of backstory we gotta get into here. So first off, you know we gotta get the can. <coughs> Pay money Wubby, you is pretty good. Wait, hold on. We need to put something on this monitor. This is unacceptable. Perfect. There's been some drama recently. Some drama with 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 the YouTuber Life with Mac. And if you guys don't remember, the kid ASMR that I did that entire video on. Yeah, that's the one. According to her, YouTube has been targeting her channel. Her videos are being removed for inappropriate content. Her videos are getting demonetized left and right. Welcome to the fucking club, Mac. She believes it's complete. Here, let me let me let me just read you the tweets that she's been saying. Dear YouTube, your blatant discrimination will not stop me. I will not let you use me as a target for your platform shortcomings. You condone a grown man to sexually bully me. Well, hold up. Wait a minute now. Hold on. Look, I'm not saying that was directed at me. Is that, that seemed very, hold on. Wait, wait, wait a minute now. She's been having a huge fuss on Twitter. Her tweets, I mean, some of these tweets have hundreds of thousands of likes. I mean, this shit is blowing up. Her claim is basically that YouTube is unfairly taking her off the platform. So no, I was trying to stay quiet about it for a while, but then I couldn't help myself when a channel by the name of Atozi, you may have heard of him. Atozi here with his fucking, open curtain looking haircut. If you watch the stream, you would have heard that joke already. He posted a video recently defending her channel. His video has so much misinformation, so much omission of facts that I just, I couldn't take it anymore. I had to make a response. The people need to know. The people need to know. What's up guys, this is Tozier today and welcome back to a brand new video. And today I have a big problem with YouTube. So not too long ago, I posted a whole video where I was talking about a bunch of different ASMR channels that were just really odd. Some of them just were outright disgusting. But the channel we're talking about today is not an outright disgusting ASMR channel. One of the channels I reacted to is called Life with Mac, a younger girl who makes ASMR videos for fun. And she seems to have a massive fan base and audience here. And from what I've heard, YouTube has actually taken down a bunch of her videos due to sexual content. One thing that you're going to notice about this guy's video is he blurs out the term sexual when he's saying sexual content. And I think it was an attempt to play to YouTube's algorithm to try to not get demonetized. But the, I'm sorry, but the ironic thing is that he put out a tweet shortly after his video went live. Out of all the videos to get demonetized, the system has some flaws. <laughs> You might want to get out a pen and paper because uh, there's going to be a lot to unpack. If, 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 if a minor is posting inappropriate content, we can all agree it shouldn't be on the platform. And we can also all agree if a minor is posting content that's not inappropriate, it should be allowed. She's just having fun on YouTube, eating wrenches and shoes and stuff like- Hold on, wait, okay, hold on. Wait a minute though, hold on, wait, what? I thought we, hold on. Run that by me one more time. This is a kid. She's just having fun on YouTube, eating wrenches and shoes and stuff like that. Obviously they are fake. You don't have a lack of weirdos here on the internet. But that doesn't mean, let's say, if someone's doing a shoe try-on haul, that that video needs to get taken down because some certain people have foot fetishes. No. It all started with this on Twitter, Life with Mac or McKenna. She posted this tweet right here. Dear YouTube, your blatant discrimination will not stop me. I will not let you use me as a target for your platform's shortcomings. I am not sorry for being a confident young woman who speaks her mind. You condone a grown man to bully me, and it's time to own up to it. But going further, she posted a video on her channel vaguely addressing the subject. The way YouTube has been treating me like not just a few days ago, but over my whole entire YouTube journey, it makes me feel so angry. This is just a personal preference, but God, it's so hard to listen to her and take her seriously when she's loudly whispering the entire video in my ear. I said this in my other video too. It's not even good ASMR. Her mic is poopy, poopy, poopy ass. It hurts to listen to. Of course she does the whispering in full ASMR style. So she actually doesn't explain much herself in this video because this is actually all she says on the matter. That was, my man's well-spoken. Because this is actually all she says on the matter. My man's is, my man is one take right here. This, you know, I gotta give a Tozy credit. That is a first take, send it. So here's another tweet that she posted, essentially calling out YouTube again for listing her videos as inappropriate. So he's presented the first video that was supposedly removed for being inappropriate or sexual. Let's pull up the tweet and let's read it ourselves. Thanks, YouTube. This is getting really old. To my fans, what platform would you like to see me on? Twitch? Patreon? Other? In the meantime, please enjoy other minors trying on lingerie for their boyfriends, wiping Nutella on friends, etc. Retweet for a follow. By the way, Mac, when you say retweet for a follow, 
I know you're just trying to get people to retweet it, but in reality, you're just devaluing your follow. So the claim here was YouTube is removing videos because of sexually inappropriate content. Well, here's a video YouTube removed ASMR eating dish sponges and soap. I don't know about you, but it looks to me like YouTube removed this one because it's fucking misleading. It's not only is it clickbait, it can be argued that it's dangerous clickbait. This is a, th this thumbnail is intentionally misleading. That's why this video was removed. Yes, the video she has here in the screenshot is her eating fake soap and fake sponges, but she does put a disclaimer in the title. Oh, well, you know what? In that case, the video is totally fine. It's not like the giant fucking thumbnail completely contradicts the title. It doesn't even matter if you started the video and immediately she said the soap was fake. The thumbnail, the title that's on the thumbnail are intentionally misleading and potentially harmful. It's not being removed because it was sexual. It's not being removed because YouTube hates Mac. It's being removed because it is intentionally misleading and clickbaiting into someone eating soap. How, how do you not understand this? I feel like this is backwards. How can you defend this? Listen, I'm all for being edgy. I'm all for having unique and fun and edgy content, but clickbaiting eating dish soap and sponges to an arguably primarily child audience that that has no place on YouTube when that gets taken off YouTube I will support that you are minutes into a video where you're trying to convince us of something you have not done that at all maybe small suggestion maybe just I don't know don't eat fake sponges and dish soap that's a good place to start Maybe, I don't know. She makes a very good point. How is it that someone like Danny Khan can make videos where she's trying on bikinis when Danny Khan herself is also a minor? Do you have your pen and paper out? Write down Danny Khan. We're gonna be coming back to that. Both Mac and Toe Ring here bring up Danny Khan multiple times. Write that down. We're gonna come back to that. Yet you have Life with Mac over here getting all of her videos listed as inappropriate when there's nothing in the videos that are inappropriate. That's not true. We just debunked that. Pretty sure eating fake soap and clickbaiting it is pretty inappropriate. We just debunked that shit, homie. Anyway, Life with Mac continues the rant on Twitter with this tweet where she says that YouTube actually removed her clothing try on haul video. And the tweet reads, in this video removed by YouTube, I did a try on haul with four clothing items, a winter puffer jacket, turtleneck long sleeve sweater dress, gorgeous high neck long sleeve, loose turtleneck long sleeve sweatshirt dress. What on earth was inappropriate? And I have to ask the same questions because here are the outfits that she tried on. Okay, so this one's going to be actually really interesting and I think you guys might be surprised with my opinion on it. So she posted a clothing haul video where she tried on four different outfits and YouTube deleted it for being inappropriate. They then appealed it and it was denied, meaning they sent in an appeal and YouTube manually reviewed the video for a second time and deleted it. Here are four photos. I don't think these are screens from a video. the video. They look like they were taken with an iPhone. I'm assuming that they were. They don't look like they're screenshots from the video, but they do show the four outfits that were showcased in the video. I have not seen this video. I have tried to look for it before filming this video. If it's posted somewhere and I'm just completely missing it, at the time of filming, I could not find it. I don't know if it's behind a paywall at this point, but either way, I couldn't find it anywhere. So therefore, I do not have an opinion on YouTube removing it. I think it's reasonable to believe a Tozy has not seen the clothing video because his response video was posted after it got deleted. I can't find the video. He's probably never seen it. Then why is he posting a long winded response defending something he's never seen? I'm not claiming that there's anything inappropriate in the video. I'm saying, I don't know. We can't take Mac or YouTube's word for it. We don't know. Why are you so confidently posting a video defending something you haven't watched? It's blissfully ignorant to do something like that. And honestly, it's kind of irresponsible to. This, if I end up watching this video, if somehow this video gets sent to me and it is innocent, I will be first in line to defend Mac. I think she should be able to post videos like this that are innocent. However, I haven't seen the fucking video. So I can't defend it. Atozi likely hasn't seen it either. So why the fuck did he post this video? It's so sneaky to post four frames and say, look, see, the video was innocent. What the fuck, YouTube? I'm not claiming the video is inappropriate. I'm just saying, how the fuck would anybody know? That's 0 and 2 for you, Atozi. You have brought up no strong argument for YouTube removing her videos unfairly. Is any of this inappropriate? No, I don't think so. I don't understand how you would know. So how is this getting removed for being inappropriate? Yet Danny Khan literally uses her body for views as a minor. Danny Khan counter, two now, you keep me track? Yes, I would understand a little bit more if she was a tiny 
creator, maybe YouTube just did not see that this is going on. But no, she's been directly adding YouTube on Twitter constantly. And some of her tweets have gotten up to 200,000 likes. So I don't really ask a lot of you guys, but please go to Twitter and tweet this. Why are you deleting Life with Max videos? Hashtag justice for Mac at YT creators, at YouTube, at Susan Wojcicki, at Life with Mac 2005, and at a Tozy so I can also retweet a bunch of them. Oh, is that why you wanted your, your Twitter mention in there? You wanted your Twitter at a Tozy in the, uh, in the tweet so you could retweet people? Come on. <laughs> Listen, a Tozy, come on, man. Come on, bro. You know I want the clout too. You know I'm looking for that YouTube money. Dollar Shave Club. If this was me, man, I'd be like, yo, include that at Pay Money Will Be because I'm trying to get my dick wet. I personally believe a Tozy wanted his name on that tweet for the exposure. I'll be the first to admit, maybe I'm ignorant. Maybe I don't understand fully how Twitter works. Uh, I'm, I'm actually on his Twitter right now, days after his video posted, and he has yet to retweet a single person who, who put out that tweet. So... Yikes. YouTube really needs to fix this right now. And she's being treated extremely unfairly. And like I said earlier, it's only some creators who are actually being affected by this. Because while Life with Mac is getting her stuff taken down left and right, you have a YouTuber named Danny Khan, who's also a minor, who seems to be left untouched. Yet her videos are pretty much all about her body. YouTube told me that minors doing ASMR can be sexualized slash fetishized by adults, which is why they're removing my videos for inappropriate content. I hate that we've gotten to this point due to sick disgusting people. We cannot be punishing kids who have zero wrong intentions due to a small amount of sick individuals. And spoiler alert, banning kids from the platform won't solve anything. The only thing that does is punish the kids for no reason whatsoever. And then you have the sick, disgusting human beings over there. They'll just move on and find something else that appeals to them. I don't know why we're acting like pedophiles leaving is a bad thing. I'm not saying we should, you know, get rid of kids on YouTube, but he's acting like, well, the pedophiles are just going to go somewhere else. Good. So the point that he's making, the point that I see Mac making in the tweets, this is kind of the whole, one of the main reasons I wanted to make the video because nobody's saying this. You can't blame the child for posting a video and there are perverts sexualizing them. And to an extent, I agree with that. But remember how I said they brought up Danny three different times? So Danny, Danny is a minor, she's 15. She posts videos of her doing different haul videos. There's a swimsuit haul video. She does all kinds of content that could be seen as sexual. However, according to both Toe Man and Mac, we shouldn't victim blame here. So how come on one hand they call for why is Danny's channel stub if she's sex she's being she's using her body to make videos. But then on the other hand they say we should never blame the kid. The kid can't be sexualized. It's the pedophile's fault for sexualizing. How can you say we can't blame the kid, but then you're also blaming Danny. It's, you can't have it both ways. You want to be able to post content and blame the pedophiles, but when other people post content, it's their fault, not the pedophile's fault. Here's something, I've just been waiting to say this. Are we just gonna pretend that the cop video didn't happen? Are we gonna pretend that the ASMR sassy cop video didn't happen? Because God knows, this, has been, this whole drama has been talked about for such a long time. I don't see anybody bringing up the cop video. Are we gonna pretend that this didn't happen but honestly i need to s s s before my tinder date tonight so i'm gonna hurry are you kidding me oh by the way i wish i would have explained this in my first video s s s before a tinder date if you're not aware s s s stands for shit showering and shaving it's something you would do to prepare before a night on the town it's not something a child should be saying in a role play you're gonna sit here and you're gonna chastise danny for being sexual but then you're gonna claim your content is immune to that are you kidding me are we gonna pretend that this didn't happen here's your warning this is never gonna happen. Do you need me to whack some maturity into you? Because I will happily do it. It's double standard. It's bullshit. You're playing both sides here. And I feel like I'm one of the only people calling it out. I feel like there are inappropriate videos on both Danny and Max channel. And I think they should be removed accordingly. Absolutely. But to sit here and say, we can't victim blame. It's not the kid's fault, it's the pedophile's fault. Except 
Fuck Danny. Which one is it, guys? So, she's 13 years old, which means she's old enough to upload videos to YouTube herself. But her mom manages her YouTube channel for her. So, from my understanding of the situation, her mom is greenlighting everything that she is posting on her YouTube channel. So, if YouTube gives me the trust as an adult to not upload inappropriate content to my YouTube channel, why can't they give the same trust to Max's mom? What? What do you mean, why can't they give her the same trust? This is what happens when you give her the trust what a stupid question to ask just to really drill it in this is the girl that youtube's banning for being inappropriate mac you need to accept it's a kindness be nice to other kids and take the high road and live a peaceful kind life at the very least if you've made it this far in the video you want to hear what i have to say so i'm going to take this opportunity now to really go in so if you saw there in that little insider fucking interview a tozy showed this clip to demonstrate that mac is is innocent and is is just a sweet girl uh, and in the interview she even says the name mac on her youtube channel stands for meaning acceptance and kindness this is the girl that youtube's banning for being inappropriate Mac, you need to accept it's a kindness, be nice to other kids and take the high road. And Some of her largest and arguably Mac's most iconic series is her sassy videos. And in these videos, throughout the entire video, she role plays being the biggest asshole. Excuse me, sir, you look stupid. Or, um, I mean, confused. Um, it's on sale, 50% off. Maybe that's why you can afford it. Please just. Meaning, acceptance. 100% support anybody's right to be any online character persona ever. In fact, I think it's really interesting that that's how she does her ASMR. The whole bit is that she's honestly just a giant asshole. That's, that is the bit. If you don't believe me, if you think I'm exaggerating or being too harsh, go watch the videos. That's the intent. You cannot tell me it is not incredibly manipulative to then go on an interview and say, the name of the channel stands for meaning, acceptance, kindness. Which one is it? Are, is your channel all about meaning, acceptance, kindness? Or are you a comedy channel where you're intentionally an asshole? And the fact that Toe Man here used that clip to try to persuade his audience is exactly the problem with it. I role play an asshole too. It'd be the same thing if I was out. It'd be the same thing if I gave an interview like that. Wubby, wow, usually very nice. Yeah. You know, I just like to wiggle and like, you know, be just cute. It's just such a rude character that she does. Holy shit. I hope that she can continue posting ASMR videos to YouTube because you can really tell that she enjoys making them. And you know what, Atozi? I think with that, we finally found something we agree on. The last thing I want to see is someone posting, you know, innocent, fun content and it getting deleted. If YouTube decides to actually start removing Max videos unfairly, I will be first in line to defend her. That being said, with all the evidence that was presented to us from Atozi and her tweets, I don't see that happening here, so I'm not going to defend her at all.
I am someone though who is more than willing to have my mind changed. I am more than happy, like I said, I will be first in line to defend a content creator's right to create content, but I'm not seeing that happen here. Thank you for watching, here's the ad. So here we fucking go. That's right, boys. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's so fucking awful. So today's episode has been brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Give it up for them. They were kind enough to not only sponsor the channel, but allow me to put the ad at the end of the video. Please go check out my affiliate link down below, dollarshaveclub.com slash wubby. You can get one of three sets for only $5 for the box. So the way this works is you choose what set you want. Again, Five fucking bucks, guys. The shit just gets sent to you. It's easy, you lazy sack. I've been wearing the same underwear for two years. That is not relevant. First one is the Oral Care Starter Set. You get a toothbrush, you get toothpaste. You know, obviously we have the top for your teeth, but guess what, turn it upside down, this thing will slide in your asshole, no problem. Dollar Shave Club, I'm sorry. The toothpaste, um, don't eat it. Next, we have the Shave Starter Set. You get the razor plus blades. With that, you also get prep scrub. God damn it. You get shave butter. God, I just dropped one. You get shave butter, god damn it. And you get post shaved you. And listen, boys, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. This is no bullshit. This shit smells so good. Like, I'm not even, fuck the, fuck the ad. This shit just smells fucking amazing. It's like a, a female fart. You just want to breathe it in. You can go with the shower starter set. Any one of them is five bucks if you use my link down below. I'm sure a lot of you think they only do shaving. It's just entire grooming as a whole. They got your fucking back. We got oral care, skin care, rectal care, depending, hey, whatever you're into. The more you buy, the more you save. And you can get started right now for dirt fucking cheap. Please go check out the link down below, dollarshaveclub.com slash wubby. You know I'm going to be promoting this on my fucking stream tonight. You better be there too. Guys, go support the people who support me. I can't stress it enough. Thank you again, Dollar Shave Club, and I will see you guys on the stream.